Yeah. One of the most exciting, I think, and eagerly awaited competitions every year. There's something about the Six Nations, I think. Uh-huh. There always is. It's fantastic. Uh, it's funny, it comes at a time when there's been a lot of rugby played and still a lot of rugby to play and you're you're caught in the middle and all eyes are on you. Some something sometimes the league takes a backward step mm-hmm. uh, whenever the success of Ulster drags players down to Dublin and you know, it's great that they represent Ireland. Uh, but from an Ulster point of view it's it's very important to keep keep winning your games uh, in that period whenever you lose uh, your internationals. Uh, that's key to our progression in the Rabo. But uh, as a player uh, that is growing up your your one aim is to play for Ireland and play for Ireland in a in a Six Nations. Is it is it difficult for players? You know, uh, sometimes you know uh, uh, Joe Smith there recently he called a couple of the lads up. They played against Australia and then they were they were released uh-huh. to their provinces the following week to go back and play for us in a Pro yeah. Twelve as opposed to playing against the All Blacks. Uh-huh. Is that difficult for a player to get it into their it head or their be, psyche? Or? It can be when you're jumping squads all the time. I have something I've experienced a lot of. It's hard. Uh, first of all, completely new playbook. You have to get your head around that. All your training that you've been doing for Ireland, suddenly you've got two days to prepare for a game for Ulster. That's hard to get your head around, especially dealing with disappointment that comes with not being selected to play in, like you say, the all against the All Blacks. So that's something to get your head around. Uh, I like your word on their playbook. Yeah, you, know, you give me a wee insight there, and giving the uh-huh. the viewers a wee. Is that just basically what the tactics or the style of play, or, or the formation, the way the way the coach wants also, wants the game to play? Yeah, all your patterns of play, going from line out, where you go first rock, second rock, third rock, mm-hmm. uh, scrum time as well, kickoffs, your formations on kickoffs, and what you want to do whenever you receive the ball. Uh, oh, there's there's there's. Talking about playbooks, I think. You know, well, I, you know, what, well, I know, and, and they say sports all about just all about inches, and yeah. uh, most of it just the, the three or four between your ears. Uh-huh. But uh, the Six Nations, the Welsh are the favourites. Ireland, obviously, five games, but uh, three at home. But the yeah. two hard ones are away: England uh-huh. and France. It's yeah. going to be hard for Ireland to get uh, to get a, a, a win. Uh, I don't mean a win, but I mean an overall win in the well, Six Nations, isn't it? I. It always is. This is the the alternate year. You know, you always get. Uh, England and France away uh, in one year, and uh, you know when we won the Grand Slam, we had England and France uh, at home, which was helpful, and we we beat the other three teams away. Uh, yeah, it's always difficult, and uh, it depends what you know. Again, it come back to injuries. We're in Ireland were ravaged by injuries last season. Mm-hmm. That's very hard to compete whenever we only have four professional teams in the. In, in the country to call upon players from so that could put us at a disadvantage if we are not fit hopefully we can stay fit and take the success we've had in the European competition and bring that through to the Six Nations because all the problems is no they can beat the top French sides the top English sides top uh, sides in Europe on their day uh, in Europe so there's no reason why we can't come together and reproduce that on an international and I think coming hearing voices and, and opinions from the Ulster players coming out of the camp they're very excited about the new coaching set up there as well. You're, you're blessed I think to be under Mark Anscombe who clearly looks to be a very very uh, very well clued in coach mm-hmm. and then the Ireland set up with Joe Smith you mentioned it there that a lot of the players are very very pleased with it so things are looking good for uh, Ulster and Ireland Absolutely yeah from from uh, an Irish point of view it's it's great when you hear the likes of Brian and Driscoll raving about Joe coming in as coach and you know uh, immediately you're hearing great chat from the, the rest of the guys about him and, and uh, how there's a feeling of, of real hope and optimism within the Ireland camp now that they can go on and I wouldn't be surprised if uh, if they go on and win a championship this year. Potty, uh, I'm looking, you're sitting here, you and I, <laughs> the size of you and the hits that are now going into rugby like that is serious. You know what I mean? You must be you must be well conditioned to get some of those thumps, some of those ignorant lads, you know, smelling like garlic, coming in, listening from MP and trying to walk all over your beautifully toned body and <laughs> your lovely face. You know what I mean? That, that right? Uh, yeah. Listen, you just I'm always an undersized player, so I've learned to try and stay out of the way of those big boys. So it's quick feet. Quick tweet, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Well, now look. Obviously, uh, we have had a few personalities in uh, today. We're delighted to have you. And uh, McLean Bookmakers have had uh, a long, long association with Cash for Kids. 
Uh -huh. Okay, so they've offered you a £50 free yeah. bet. You knew about it, so you, it's quite an interesting one. You'll have to tell the punters what you went for. Yeah. £50 cash for kids charity bet. There you go, Polly. Yeah. Tell them what it is. Okay, well, I'm a, a huge NFL fan, uh, American football that is, and uh, I have picked the C Seattle Seahawks to win the Super Bowl this year. Uh, they're for the reason is that the first time for a while at the Super Bowl has been played outdoors, it's been played in New York and it's going to be freezing. Seahawks are a good outdoor team, uh, good defence, good offensive line and uh, I think that's a cert. So you like the Seahawks and you like you like American football, you know it's great that when yeah, you hear, yeah, you hear sports people coming in the club or another sport, yeah. great, I love great it. Set, I set up a league within, uh, within Ulster now so we've got more people involved in Fantasy League and everybody throws a, a few quid in and we pick the winners of each game from each week and it all tallied up and we're coming to the close of the season now so uh, there's a big pot for to be won and uh, that's good because something to talk about well, you, you can go back to the last in Ravenhill and tell them of Stephen MacDonald Armagh All-Star and All-Ireland winner uh -huh. his free £50 cash for kids was uh, 50 quid an Ulster to win the Heineken Cup so uh -huh. there you are so uh, the message <laughs> is spreading Paddy Paddy thank you very much all the very best 2014 we'll have you back on the couch Appreciate again it, thank, thank you, you.